So every day, millions of Americans struggle just to make ends meet. For many older Americans, Social Security provides a critical lifeline. President Biden, if nothing is done to Social Security, seniors will see their benefits cut in just over 10 years. Will you name tonight one specific step that you're willing to take to keep Social Security solvent? The House Republican Caucus that he, I believe, supports is, in fact, want to cut it as well. Uh, I've never seen anybody lie like this guy. That was from the Trump versus Biden debate last night. And of course, the topic of Social Security came up. What were your thoughts if you caught the debate? Trump versus Biden, who won? Well, when it comes to Social Security, uh, they pretty much said the same things they usually say. So I'm going to play that full video clip. But take a look at some of the headlines here. Trump attacks Biden on Social Security, Medicare, uh, 2024 presidential debate. Trump, Biden, answer. Will senior C cut in Social Security? And then this one, Joe Biden presents plan to keep Social Security solvent during CNN presidential debate. So we're going to go over uh, this one where Trump and Biden stand on Social Security and Medicare. I'm going to give you some other important updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate these Social Security updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Social Security updates. So uh, when it comes to the presidential debate last night. Uh, what were your thoughts on that? So we're just going to talk about Social Security and not other things, although the clip I'm about to show you it does have other things said in it besides Social Security. So I'm going to play that full clip. Uh, so I feel like it was a little disappointing while former President Trump and current President Biden had their chance to talk about Social Security, how they're going to do something about it, but I think both of them fell a little short. I'm going to give you uh, my opinions about the Social Security debate that they had, as well as where President Biden and former President Trump actually stand on Social Security. So again, uh, we ha I showed you the headlines before. Trump attacks Biden on Social Security, Medicare, and uh, will senior see cut in Social Security. And then also, uh, Joe Biden presents plan to keep Social Security solvent during the debate. So I'm going to play this video clip. You're not going to want to miss this as which, uh, which president is going to be running Social Security is all in this clip right here. Uh, so watch that. I'll give you some other uh, updates and where they stand on Social Security right after. So every day, millions of Americans struggle just to make ends meet. For many older Americans, Social Security provides a critical lifeline. President Biden, if nothing is done to Social Security, seniors will see their benefits cut in just over 10 years. Will you name tonight one specific step that you're willing to take to keep Social Security solvent? Yes, make the very wealthy begin to pay their fair share. Right now, everybody making under $170,000 pays 6% of their income, of their paycheck, every single time they get a paycheck from the time of the first one they get when they're 18 years old. The idea that they're going to, I'm not, I've been proposing that everybody, they pay, the millionaires pay 1%. 1%. So no one after, uh, I would not raise the cost of Social Security for anybody under $400,000. After that, I began to make the wealthy begin to pay their fair share by increasing from 1% beyond to be able to guarantee the program for life. So you still have 82 seconds left. Are there any other measures that you think that would be able to help uh, keep Social Security solvent or is just, is that one enough? Well, no, that, that one enough will keep it solvent, but the biggest thing I'll do if we defeat this man because he wants to get rid of Social Security. He thinks there's plenty to cut in Social Security. He's wanting to cut Social Security and Medicare both times. And that's what, And if you look at the, pro the program put forward by the House Republican Caucus that he, I believe, supports, is in fact want to cut it as well. The idea that we don't need to protect our seniors is ridiculous. We put, we, and by the way, the American public has greater health care coverage today than ever before. And on the ACA, as I said, you're in a circumstance where 400,000 people, 400, I mean 40, 40 million people, would not have insurance because they have a pre-existing condition. Only thing allows them to have that insurance is the fact that they, in fact, are part of the ACA. And by the way, the other thing is, we're in a situation where we talk about education for black communities. I've raised the number, the amount of money for Pell Grants 
another $8,000. So anybody making under $70,000 a year is going to be able to get $15,000 toward their tuition. It's, uh, I, he, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. Thank you, President Biden. President Trump. So I've dealt with politicians all my life. I've been on this side of the equation for the last eight years. Uh, I've never seen anybody lie like this guy. He lies. I've never seen it. He could look you in the face so, about so many other things, too. And we mentioned the laptop. We mentioned Russia, 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 Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. Everything he does is a lie. It's misinformation and disinformation. Uh, the losers and suckers story that he made up is a total lie on the military. It's a disgrace. But Social Security, he's destroying it because millions of people are pouring into our country and they're putting them onto Social Security. They're putting them onto Medicare, Medicaid. They're putting them in our hospitals. They're taking the place of our citizens. They're what they're doing to the VA, to our veterans is unbelievable. Our veterans are living in the street and these people are living in luxury hotels. He doesn't know what he's doing. And it, it's really coming back. I've never seen such anger in our country before. President Biden. The idea that veterans are not being taken care of, I told you before. And by the way, when I said suckers and losers, he said he acknowledged after that he fired that general. That general got fired because he's the one that acknowledged that that's what he said. He was the one standing with Trump when he said it, number one. Number two, the idea that we're going to be in a situation where all these millions and millions, the way he talks about it, illegal aliens are coming into the country and taking away our jobs. There's a reason why we have the fastest growing economy in the world, the reason why we have the most successful economy in the world. We're doing better than any other nation in the world. And by the way, those 15 Nobel laureates he talked about being phony, those 15 Nobel laureates, economists, they all said that if Trump is reelected, we're likely to have a recession and, and inflation is going to increase and go up. And by the way, worst president in history, 159 presidential scholars voted him the worst president in the history of the United States of America. President so a little bit disappointing, in my opinion, they finally had this debate. And I feel like Social Security uh, wasn't done Nothing was done for Social Security during Trump. Nothing has been done for Social Security for Biden. Seems like no one is just doing anything and they're blaming each other for nothing being done to Social Security or ending. So I was just a little disappointed in those answers from both presidents about Social Security. Uh, so I feel like uh, President Biden introduced his four-point plan for Social Security a long time before he was president and didn't do anything about it during his entire four years of presidency. Trump uh, not really having a full plan for Social Security besides, you know, blaming other people. But anyways, what, what were your thoughts on that? Could it have been better? Or did you feel like one president stood out more than the other in Social Security? Let me know. Uh, so where does Biden stand on Social Security? So Biden has consistently pledged not to cut Social Security benefits. During his presidential campaign and his time in office, he emphasized his commitment to protecting and strengthening the program. Biden has proposed raising taxes on wealthy Americans to ensure the program's solvency. Sp uh, specifically, he suggested subjecting earnings over $400,000 to Social Security payroll taxes, which are currently capped at $168,000. Uh, however, Biden's 2020 campaign promise to raise taxes on the wealthy hasn't come to fruition. So he's had four years to take action on his Social Security plan. He did not do it. I think there's something to be said about that. Biden has also expressed support for increasing benefits for low-income recipients and adjusting the cost of living adjustment formula. Uh, despite these proposals, Biden has not implemented significant changes to Social Security during his presidency. The political <clears throat> and economic challenges of pushing through such reforms remain. So uh, this said it perfectly. So Biden presented a four-point plan for Social Security, hasn't done a single thing. Uh, if he said his four-point plan during the debate, I think it probably would have gotten more controversy because he didn't do anything in his other campaign of becoming president. 
Uh, so where does Trump stand on Social Security? So Trump has taken more a more ambiguous stance on Social Security during his presidency and recent campaign. He said he would protect Social Security benefits. However, he has not provided detailed plans on how he would ensure the program's long-term solvency without cutting benefits or raising taxes. Trump's approach often hinges on the belief that a stronger economy would naturally bolster Social Security. He argues that economic growth and job creation would boost payroll tax revenues, thereby supporting the program. Still, experts generally agree that economic growth alone won't be enough to solve the substantial funding issues facing Social Security. So uh, those are like the two plans for Social Security with each president. Which one do you think is better? Uh, so I, at least with Biden, he has a plan of how a uh, specific plan of how to help out social security. The only problem, he had four years to implement it and didn't do anything. Trump doesn't really have a plan. Trump's, uh, Trump wants to increase the economy, which would then help out social security, but there's no specific plan there either. So both presidents, I think, failed social security. Uh, with both failed social security plans with each president, which one is going to do better for social security? Well. That's the question there. Let me know down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today. To hopefully brighten your day a bit, here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I tell something what you should do. Don't let anybody tell you different. You are beautiful. You are full with excitement. You are great the way you are. Don't 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 let anybody tell you any any different. You are you are great the way you are. You are full with excitement, and you are great just the way you are within person. Bye. That's all I wanted to say for you. And be yourself. Bye. If you want to see the latest Social Security bill being spoken about in Congress right now, you're going to want to click this video right up here. I'll go over all the details on that, so click that video now, and I'll see you in that video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.